is the white pieces, has a chance to win, to get on the plus one result, and then once again we'll see the tiebreak. So I think, uh, Theodora, we are almost guaranteed at least one tiebreak tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, it looks very likely. We have players who are already tied for first, and then people, once again, it happens so that it's it's quite possible there will be a tiebreak. And unfortunately, actually, okay, for, for Bratka, he can't catch up with the winners, right? Yeah, he can't catch, uh, catch up yeah. with leaders because even if he wins, he's on three, yeah. and doesn't let the, the result that at least yeah. someone will be on three and the other pair. So we missed the moment, but the first move, first move today was made by uh, Vice President of Vida, uh, Lukas Sterle. On the yeah. board between... I can't really see... Uh, uh -huh. It was uh, the game between the Cuba and Gary, which is the most important game today. So. Yeah, perhaps one of them. Yeah. has something prepared against his Because uh, Giri lately was playing the Boga, uh, not the Boga, it's called Ragozin, Ragozin defense, right. 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 And then this specific move on the C4, 9, C3, do not really, right. really accept playing Ragozin, right? In E6 will be played the top of E4. Now we are seeing the English Open. I don't think there'll be a lot of theoretical discussions, but I might be wrong once again. I mean, in these situations nowadays, I mean, uh, when you want to try to play for a win, but at the same time,
actually get a very serious, I don't know, like very serious might be exaggeration. I'm a born up <laughs> after all. And you can't even go King your fame because Bishop C4 right here. Ah, this is nice. So you are forced to go to the I would never so say this about the, the Rook game, but this is winning. <laughs> no, it's not only pun up, this is winning, okay? We need to, we need to understand what, what happens there. So Bishop, so Bishop C4. C4. It's a threat. I want to take on it. Uh, any kind of capture just fails. G5. Funny enough, I can't take on h7 because I have the bishop responsible kind of both directions. <laughs> Taking on e2 and e2. But let's assume I go to e4. Ah, and then you go no. to e7 yeah. and you say bye bye. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. This is the mystery reveal, right? Because, yeah, at some point I, I just got a bit scared. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, uh, second try. Rook e4. Rook takes, bishop takes. And I'm claiming. So there is bishop and you still have bishop before, so you can't really do anything g5 always... Yeah, but g5 is... Usually people would just give up on this line, they would see bishop c4 and like... Yeah, yeah like, like from afar. I will not play, yeah, from afar. From afar, if, you, if you're worried, you know, like yeah. you've calculated this rook e7 and you might be... And, and the fact, yeah, it's bishop c4 is not such a crazy complex move. Right? Yeah. So the fact that we can do thing probably means that he, he thought it works for him. So. Yeah, there is no bishop c4, it's just a very easy position to work, right? Even draw, I mean, what else can it be in this position? I don't think King F6 is the last, uh, sorry, King E5 is the last move. It's, uh, I think we've told already, so that in order to fix the result on the digital board, right, the kings should be aligned in the center in a specific way, right? And basically, kings on different, on squares of different colors means a draw, and sometimes the arbiter would first put the king on E5. And it would register as the last move. As the 